Hi, today's flowers are salt lily, pimpon flower, and eucalyptus. I arranged them in a high flower vase by a style called upright style. The subject is salt lily. Salt lily has buds in line, and they bloom from bottom to top. I cut off the stem, include some buds in the top. It's because if I use it with its original length, I have to remove the bloomed ones in the bottom instead, to match the defined length. The defined length is one and a half times longer than the flower base. In Nikebana, when we say length, it usually means the length from the brim of the flower base. Thus, the total length of the plant will be longer. I check the length by overlapping the plant to the flower base. To fix the salt lily in a good position, I used a bamboo skewer. Stop bamboo skewer vertically to its stem and cut the bamboo skewer to match the diameter of the flower base. Then, both edges of the bamboo skewer will touch the inner side of the flower base. That is one of the ways to fix plants. There are various ways to fix plants in a good position, and we use different methods depending on the feature of the plant. I check the length from a distance again and again, and it seems too long. The position is okay, so I cut the bamboo skewer to fit its edges at the lower point in the flower base. However, it's still long. Now I determined to shorten the subject itself. Remove the bamboo skewer, cut the stem, and stop the bamboo skewer again. I always cut plants discreetly because, as you can easily imagine, we can never undo it. There is a way to add lens to plants by using tools like bamboo skewer, but that will take time and effort. It still seems slightly long, but I decided to move on to the secondary. The length of the secondary is two thirds of that of the subject. As well as the subject, the length means the length from the brim of the flower base. I measure the secondary in comparison with the subject. The secondary comes in front of the subject. I changed the angle of my camera because I thought it might be hard to see what I do from my back. I realized that I often hide the work by myself. To fix the secondary, I used the bamboo skewer again. For the secondary, stab a bamboo skewer along the stem, not straightly, but with a slight angle. The angle between the stem and the bamboo skewer will let the secondary lean forward. The secondary lean forward at 60 degree angle and lean left at 30 degree angle. When I arrange upright style, I always keep it in mind to place the secondary as if it as if it enjoys conversation with the subject by letting its top face to each other. Then move on to the object, ping pong flower. There were originally three ping pong flowers, but I have already used one of them with free expression, which I uploaded a video some weeks ago. Two ping pong flowers are remaining for upright style. The length of the object is half of that of the subject. The stem of ping pong flower is tough, so I break it off to fix it in the flower vase. The break off point touches the inner side of the flower vase. That will make the plant lean forward, and at the same time, works as a stopper. That is another most used method to fix a plant in a flower vase. The object leans forward at 80 degree, degree angle and comes almost just in front of the subject, slightly tilted right. The other pimple flower is the filler. The filler will fill the triangle space created by the subject, the secondary, and the object. To fix the filler pimple flower at a high position, I directly fit its cut end to the inner side of the flower base. We can fix plants in this way for some limited ones. 
there is no stopper in this method, so compared to other methods, this will be a little unstable. Here is the progress so far. Lastly, arrange eucalyptus as another filler. Eucalyptus usually have rich leaves. I have to remove a lot of them because too many leaves make the work seem dull. I give it a try, but it seems strange. I suspected it might be too long, so I cut off the stem to make it shorter and remove leaves in the bottom. By the way, it's better to remove all leaves in water. One reason for this is that leaves rot rapidly in water. The other reason is that leaves disturb other plants in a narrow flower base from Ikebana point of view. I placed it between ping pong flowers, but it doesn't look good. It still just doesn't feel right to me. So I asked my teacher for help to give me advice on how to deal with eucalyptus. After a short lecture from my teacher, I tried it alone by myself. According to my teacher, the former one I tried to place between the ping pong flowers were too short. Now I use another one instead. It seems I shouldn't have cut it off. Add eucalyptus and adjust others at the same time. Those adjustments are sober work, but such small and immediate maintenance will modify tiny shifts from the, the defined position. Plants like eucalyptus are supposed to add a nice touch to an ikebana work. However, I'm struggling with how to deal with those kind of plants. By the way, the plant at the right is oriental bittersweet, which I arranged in free expression. Free expression is free. On the other hand, upright style has many rules. Arranging two completely, two, two completely different styles on the same day used a lot of energy for me. Go back to eucalyptus. When I saw my teacher lecturing, I thought I could understand what she intended. But when it came to my hand, I found it was still hard. Now it's time for the final review from my teacher. She boldly removes leaves from eucalyptus. To remove extra things emphasizes the highlight in work. I hope that my ability to judge which to leave and which to remove will be improved throughout my continuous practice. For your information, we always undo the work to bring plants back home and do it again. That's the way how we practice Ikebana. We can practice as many times as we want and remember the rules of each style. Also, I always bring extra plants I removed from the work. Plants like eucalyptus in this video. I enjoyed the refreshing smell of them for a while. Back to the video, my teacher modified the second eucalyptus. She checks the whole work and removes some more leaves again. Let's see the mouth of the flower vase closer. It looks like this. The whole work is here. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.